Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be making a Super Bowl appetizer that we're calling Mexican Egg Rolls. Let's get started. Okay, to start, I've got about a pound of ground beef right here, and I am just frying it in a pan. And I am crunching it up, basically. I want it to be into little tiny pieces. After the meat gives me some of its fat, I'm going to go in with a half of a white onion that has been roughly chopped. And a few tablespoons of this homemade spice blend. This is a Mexican blend, a taco seasoning blend, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm just going to cook this through until it is completely browned and broken up into little bits. And it looks something like this. If it has too much grease, make sure to remove. Now I'm going to set this aside and let it cool slightly. Here it is. This is the meat mixture right here. And to that meat, we're gonna add two cups of refried beans. Now these are just my crock pot beans, which I will link in the description down below that I have smashed up. These are full of flavor, guys. Now we're gonna go in with one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Use any cheese that you like. And now we're also going in with one cup of my red rice, my Mexican rice, that will also be linked down below, and a little bit more of the seasoning blend. Now we're going to give this a very thorough stirring. It's going to look something like this, which is not that appetizing right here, but I promise it's super tasty, guys. Now let's get ready to roll these egg rolls. So I have an egg roll wrapper right here, kind of facing away from me in a diamond shape. And I'm just gonna go in with about one fourth cup of the filling, and I'm kind of like straightening it out so that it's kind of together right there in the middle. And now I like to take my egg roll wrapper from the bottom, and I like to fold it up, pull it back, and then I like to fold in the sides, which I know this looks very similar to my tortilla rolling that I like to do that's because it is and then once I have the sides rolled in I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of water right here on the top and that's to make them stick and I'm gonna roll it up and with just the smallest amount of water these things will stick together and they will look like this now it's gonna be time to get all of our ingredients not ingredients we're gonna roll these up and we're gonna get all of the things we need to fry these egg rolls up so we've got our oil we've got a, pa a paper plate a paper towel on top of a plate I don't know why I cannot say that we've got our tongs so now we're testing the oil with a little piece of egg roll wrapper and it's dancing around so I know it's ready to go and we're going to add in our egg rolls. We're going to put them in very slowly and going away from us. We do not want to accidentally drop one of these and splash some oil. Also, don't overcrowd your pan, guys, because you will lower the temperature of the oil too much and making your egg rolls greasy. So after about one to two minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and give these egg rolls a flip. And I like to flip my egg rolls repeatedly because I want them to get a nice golden color all the way around. And they're going to look like this pretty much. Just keep flipping them until they give you this really gorgeous golden color. And then it's time to take them out and put them on the paper plate. And that's it guys, you can dip these in any sauce, they're super delicious and they are Super Bowl approved. There they go. Don't forget, come back to my kitchen anytime.